Hi, I'm Bill Hoger with the Rural Community Assistance Partnership. We're here at the headworks of the wastewater treatment plant, the preliminary treatment phase of the wastewater treatment. This is where the wastewater comes into the plant either by being pumped or by gravity. So the first thing that you have to do when the wastewater comes into the plant is take a sample of it. And then you analyze it for parameters so that you, your operator knows whether the plant is operating properly. It's also for regulatory reasons that you have to take that sample. Inside this cabinet is the sampler for this plant. It takes a sample based on how much flow is coming in and then puts it into a bottle for preservation at four degrees centigrade and it's analyzed later for the parameters that you're looking for. This is the bar screen part of the headworks to the wastewater plant. And it's just that. It's a screen made out of bars that are closely spaced together. In this case, they're about five eighths of an inch apart. And so anything larger than that gets caught on those bars and it can be scraped off the bars, sent to a dumpster, and sent to the landfill. So if anything's flushed down the toilet, like a rag or a kid's toy or even dollar bills, it'll get caught on this bar screen and taken out to protect the downstream processes from getting plugged and clogged with those materials. So there's still some organics in the grit that we've taken out of the wastewater, so we have to wash it a little bit more in a grit washer like the one behind me. Then we can put it into the dumpster and send it off to the landfill. We're still in the headworks. It's kind of the smelly and noisy end of the plant, because remember, this is still raw sewage and we haven't done much treatment to it yet. This is the grit chamber that we're looking at right now. And in the grit chamber, we slow down the flow so that things like sand and rocks will settle out of the wastewater, and even coffee grounds will settle out too. Flow in a pipe is usually measured in feet per second, which is the velocity of the water flowing through the pipe. So if you threw something in the water and timed how far it took to go 10 feet, say it took 10 seconds, that means it's flowing at one foot per second. This particular chamber is aerated, which means we're pumping air into the wastewater to keep it moving and also to keep some of the odors down. The aeration keeps some of the organics in the wastewater as well so they can be treated at some of the downstream processes. Most of the material that you see floating on the top of the grit chamber are grease balls. Those are formed after the bar screen and come from people pouring grease down their drain where it coagulates once it gets into the, the sewer and as it touches each other, it forms these balls of grease. Grease is lighter than water, so it ends up floating on the surface of the water.